Hey, it's Original Curly J, and today we have a Halloween party treats and games video. I went ahead and put together 10 different games and 10 different treats that you can make for your next Halloween party. I know that Halloween literally is this upcoming Tuesday, um, so I'm a little late with this video, but everybody's having their parties this weekend, so I'm not too late. But before we get into this, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because we have tons of videos coming up. Also, don't forget to follow me on my socials, which will be linked down inside the description because that is truly all my behind the scenes content. And I just wanna say thank you guys so much for over 300 subscribers already. I have a giveaway coming next week for hitting 300. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. And without further ado, because this video took me four days to film, yeah four yeah because this video took me so long we're just gonna get into this i just want to make a quick disclaimer that i did not create and i'm not the founder or like this the og that made all of these creations i just simply went to instagram and youtube shorts and tiktok to get like ideas and then try some of my own also i want to make another disclaimer that i did things on a budget and not trying to go above and beyond. I wanted to show you guys that you can do some of these with things that you already have at home. So that was the point of why I didn't have super fancy cookware and super fancy looking cups and toys and all that stuff because the point was to make it cheap, easy, and fun. Okay, first we have mummy dogs. So all you're gonna need is two ingredients, literally. You're just gonna need crescent rolls and you're gonna need cheese hot dogs. Cut your crescent rolls into strips and wrap it around the cheese hot dogs. Easy peasy. Then place your hot dogs inside of the oven according to the crescent roll package and then you are all finito. How simple and easy and cute. Next is Rotel dip which isn't really a Halloween specific dip but it is very filling and good for parties. So first you're going to ground a pound of ground beef and then you're also going to go ahead and drain the grease. Great, drain it however you want to. And then we're gonna go ahead and take some Roto mild tomatoes and throw that in there. And I use about three packets of Velveeta cheese sauce. Then I put in also a four ounce block of cream cheese, which is half the block. And then I go ahead and put in Fiesta blend cheese and then season it to my desire. You season it how you'd like. And then that's all, let it simmer. Next is quesadillas, which I was going to make it to the little, you know, jack-o'-lantern style and cut out the little faces, but that requested that I put it inside the oven, and I do not like oven quesadillas, so we're just going to make regular ones, and again, super simple, easy. We pre-make them just like this, so that way they're ready to go. Stack them up, and then we put them on the stove with a little bit of butter. And I do like to cook them on a low medium heat and then this is how they come out. And then here is the yummy plate of goodness. This was just so, so good. Next, we're gonna go ahead and move on to spider cupcakes, which I completely forgot to film how to do it, but follow the cake instructions and just fill some cupcake liners. And this is the part that I forgot to film. So basically you're gonna ice the cupcake, put on an Oreo, do some little pretzel sticks and add sprinkle eyes and then you're done. They look so good, they're so easy and fun. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and get some chocolate ready. So I use this dipping chocolate for our milk chocolate. And then you're gonna see in a moment here that I'm gonna go ahead and get ready our white chocolate. I use this Nestle or Nestle Toll House white chocolate. And this we're gonna use for the next few snacks. So our next snack is gonna be spider web. So you're gonna take some skinny pretzels and you're gonna go ahead and form them into this star shape and then use your chocolate and drizzle a little bit inside the middle to hold them all together and then drizzle around it inside of a circular shape. Yes, I'm using a butter knife, don't hate. Then I used some sugar sprinkles and I went ahead and made a bunch of these. You can make as many as you want with different chocolate and then I placed them inside the freezer for about 20 minutes. And then this is what they turned out like. They're so cute and simple. Oh my gosh. Next, we have Mummy Rice Krispies. So I don't have many people that I'm making this for. That's why I bought like the longer ones. But you can just buy a box of Rice Krispies and save the time of actually splitting them like me. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to take some of that white chocolate and drizzle it and make little mummies. And then I used a fork just to make little eyes. Yeah call it what you want but it worked and then you're gonna place inside the freezer for 20 minutes and then boom they are all ready again super simple now we have some witch fingers which you're gonna go ahead and color some of that white chocolate so that way we could dip these long pretzel rods in there and we're gonna make a few of those then I use some white chocolate drizzle that on make little nails and then we're gonna place inside the freezer this one is the easiest of them all, but we're gonna make witch's brooms with literally a Reese's cup, literally, that's it, and then a pretzel stick. And you're just gonna stick it right on top. It's that easy. Now here's the cute little pair, the witch's finger and the broomstick. Oh my gosh, so cute. Next, we have marshmallow ghosts. So you're gonna take some marshmallows, pop them on a straw like I did, that's super easy. And then you're gonna dip inside your white chocolate and place it on your tray. Yes, they are already white, but that does not matter. We want some extra chocolate, you know? Then place them inside the freezer for about 20 minutes, and then I use the end of a chopstick to add little eyes, and then we go ahead, and now it has a little face, right? Then we're gonna place it back inside of the freezer for another, like, 10 minutes, and then they are all finished. Look at how yummy these look! Our last food item is going to be a spooky charcuterie board. So I found like Halloween cookie cutters at Dollar Tree and I cut some kind of thin or like thick slices of cheese, cut out some shapes with that. And I also used, yes, sandwich meat. Go ahead, hate me if you want, but it actually worked out really well. My little sisters tore this thing up, so I could care less what you have to say right now. And honestly, I'm just giving you guys an idea of what I did for my charcuterie board, but you can literally add whatever you want. I did strawberries, I did some grapes, I did Ritz crackers and pretzels. Just do whatever is gonna work for whoever it is that you're making it for. And then this honestly came out perfect. My little sisters, like I said, tore this thing up. Now we're gonna get into games. So I let my sisters decorate the pumpkins that we're gonna use, but you're gonna need a really big pumpkin and a little pumpkin. We're gonna use those inside the games. So make sure you have one of those. And I just let them decorate it however they wanted at a little personal touch. But first we're gonna do ghost bowling. So I cut out little eyes, as you can see. You can do this part however you want. You can even draw it on the toilet paper. But because we're gonna use this toilet paper, I just cut out little eyes and taped them on there. Super easy. A lot simpler so that way we don't waste toilet paper and then you're gonna use the pumpkin and simply bowl next is pumpkin ring toss so I took some glow sticks and I added two glow sticks together to make it like a bigger ring and then we're gonna go ahead and use our larger pumpkin for this one with a large stem at the top try to choose one with the large stem and you're just gonna go ahead and play toss Next game was honestly personally one of my favorites and that is to guess their mystery box. So I went ahead and put like grapes, jello, spaghetti, but you can do whatever you want. And I cut the bottom of tissue boxes and just put them on top and they had to guess with their eyes closed and just stick their hands in there. This was super fun. Thank you. 
Next is Cup Pong. And we're gonna make these cups into little ghosts by just drawing their face on there. I go ahead and I set it up. And then they can just go ahead and use the eyeball ping pong balls that I found at Dollar Tree to just throw them in. Alrighty, and next we have candy corn sort, which is a minute to win it game. So basically, you have a minute to put as many candy corns inside the other jar using chopsticks. And honestly, this is not as easy as it looks, trust me. Next, we have a spoon race with those same ping pong eyeballs and then a spoon. And you guys are just going to race and see who can get to the finish line, keeping their ping pong ball inside their spoon. Next, we have a spider race. You're just going to need a straw and a little plastic spider and put a finish line so that way they can race and see who can blow it the fastest. Next, we have another minute to win a game, and that is to take mittens and try to unstack the cups. Again, this is a lot harder than it may seem, trust me. Alrighty, and next game is going to be candy toss. So you're going to need a bucket and some candies and it's a two player game. So you're going to need one person to stand in front of the other and throw it behind their head and see if the person behind them can catch as many as they can. And our last game is gonna be a cup race. So you're just gonna need a balloon and a plastic cup and a timer. And you're basically gonna try to blow it across the table as fast as you can. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Again, this took a very long time to film and a lot of preparation. So I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and make sure that you let me know inside the comments what you liked most out of this video or simply which one was your favorite idea. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.